The pro-life delegation Ketas call on His Majesty comprised handing over some gifts to His Majesty as well as a closed meeting with him afterwards. Furthermore, the delegation hosted a press meeting where they shared information on the concern of the Catholic Church in Lesotho over the practices and promotion of the use of contraceptives, birth control and homosexuality which deprived the nation of its prosperous spiritual life. Pro-life goes around the globe proclaiming the importance of valuing spiritual life as opposed to ungodly lifestyles. Some people look at life uh, purely as, from a secular point of view, looking at life uh, as it is in the moment, living for the moment, living from joy to joy, pleasure to pleasure, material things. And then there's another vision of life, and that life is precious, it's beautiful, it's remarkable, it's unique as each one of us in this room uh, is unrepeatable. There will never ever be another you or another me ever again. That's how unrepeatable we are and how unique we are. And so we approach life very differently as, as pro-life people. We value every life, we love every life, we respect every life, and we defend every life. So in a way is that if we defend every life, then every life is precious. If we take the other approach, which very sadly what the culture of death does, those who don't value life as we're speaking, they value certain life. So in other words, one's life may be more valuable than another. Well, play that through. If a person can determine whose life is valuable and whose life is not valuable, then that means none of our lives are of value. We all are less if we don't hold each life as precious and beautiful. So when we speak of that term pro-life, that's what I would like us, especially as you're reporting this, is to convey that. We're talking about every life, no matter the circumstance, no matter the social status, no matter where they come from, no matter their age, no matter their health, every life is precious and must be defended. They further pointed out that Lesotho is one of the African countries that suffers the consequences of contraceptive mechanisms. Despite their introduction, Lesotho still remains a poor country with high HIV and AIDS prevalence rate. The developed countries, as we call them, and I don't like that term because we're physically developed in terms of uh, our society, but we're very, very undeveloped when it comes to spirituality. We're very, very undeveloped, not like Africa, which is the most developed continent. What we have done is we have spent 1.1 trillion rand, that's 1.1 million million rand since 1996 to try to keep your population down. And it's working. According to the statistics, the average family size in 1960 in this country was about six children. Then the population controllers came in and the numbers started to go down. In 1980, it was four children. And now it's only about two or three children. And the message always is, you'll be better off if you have fewer numbers of children. The main recommendation is that people should be educated and encouraged to change their mindset, as well as practicing abstinence and faithfulness in marriage. Mpong Walidimo, LTV News, Maseru.